So let's start our review for exam one. And so if you look back at the past four or five weeks of material, we've focused on some certain topics. And so I wanna start by highlighting what those were. So first we spent time talking about statements and arguments. And remember that, that a lot of that was review from your previous course. Then we talked about sets and set operations. These were, these include a union, intersection, set difference, and Venn diagrams. Then we talked about indexed collection of sets. And then fourth, we talked about power sets. So for each one of these groups, we're gonna address them in these review videos. So let's start with our first one, which was statements and arguments. So I'm gonna start by reminding us of the definitions from this section or this topic. So remember that a statement, a statement is a declarative sentence or assertion that is either true or false but not both. So for example, if I look at the sentence, the integer four is even, that sentence is true, and this one is a statement. But if I look at the sentence x is even, well, it could be true or it could be false depending upon what X is. And so this is not a statement. So then we discussed negation. The negation of a statement P is the statement not P, and it's denoted by a tilde, tilde P. So that's the negation. Then we also had the disjunction. disjunction of the statements P and Q is the statement P or Q which we denote P or Q so that's what the disjunction is and we also have the conjunction, the conjunction of the statements P and Q is the statement P and Q and the way we denote that, P and Q. Remember that when we negate these or and these and statements, P or Q, remember that they flip. So here they switch, the or becomes an and, not P 
and not Q, and vice versa. If I negate P and Q, it becomes an OR statement. And then finally, we had our conditional statement. which was p arrow q means if p then q. So from here we looked at truth tables. And just a reminder that if you have two statement variables, your truth table will contain four rows. If your statement has three variables, then your truth table will contain eight, eight rows in your truth table. So then after we discussed truth tables we looked at quantified statements. So those are the ones with quantifiers in them. Remember we have two type of two types of quantifiers. We have the universal quantifier which has the symbol this upside down A, which means for all. And then we have the existential quantifier, which is this backwards E, and it means there exists. And remember that when you negate these quantifiers, when you negate a for all, for example, if I negate this for all statement, remember it flips to the other quantifier. So it becomes there exists an X and R such that. And then you need to negate X is greater than zero. So it would become X is less than or equal to zero.